everybody, I am Adrena Fanora, and today I am talking about animal prints and styling them for the fall. I'm going to take this very clean um, leopard dress that we have online in the store, and I'm going to style it in two different ways, ways that I will style it for the fall and going into the winter season. All right, so for the first look, I'll tell you my style is like very minimal. Um, I love prints, I love colors, but when I put them together, it's very, it's very minimal. Um, especially if it's something for casual wear and I'm just going out, I don't know, out with friends or whatever it is. Um, so I try to keep it very simple and not do a lot while not doing something at the same time. So for this first look, um, this is a look that could go from probably the office for anyone who's still, you know, working in the office to happy hour or just hanging out with friends after work. So I have this uh, black blazer and it is um, like a suiting material but it also has like this satin lapel um, with a burgundy lining. I actually got this um, blazer at the Goodwill. So there's a Goodwill here and they have a uh, clearance store where you can get like a pound of clothes and they charge you by the pound or whatever but I got this really nice um, blazer from there and I took it to the dry, the dry cleaner um, and I'm telling you it's like new like it's really really like new all right so I will add this black blazer and while it seems very basic now um, later I am going to add a mixed print so like something like this could be very like the basic and for the office. Um, especially if you pair it with like some black boots like this. This can be very basic, very, um, you know, just a regular look for going into the office. But I wanna take it a step further and I want to add actually a pair of snakeskin boots and pair two animal prints together. Now, when I do this, um, usually when I have a lot of prints like this, I like to have everything else toned down. So, black jacket, black um, stockings, opaque stockings, and very like minimal makeup because your two prints are going to speak for itself. All right, so I paired the snakeskin boots with leopard dress. Like I said, I like to keep everything basic a very solid color, solid color, because these two prints are loud enough together. So you don't want to have like too much going on to kind of like take away from, you know, the outfit all together and it becomes busy and it just becomes too much. So I do like this look, it's very simple. Now for me, this is enough because like I said, I'm very minimal in my style. Um, but I will add a belt because I know some people like belts, like wide belts like this with um, their blazers. Not me so much, but um, like it doesn't hurt to try, right? Alright, so it's not terrible. But this is a really good fall look. This dress has like pockets in it. Um, so it's not terrible. Actually, it's not terrible. Actually, I probably would wear the white belt now that I look at it. Um, but this is also an office look too. It depends on where you work. Like I used to work in the fashion industry in New York for many years. So this would be appropriate for that. But um, yeah, adding a belt. Um, this is a good fall look, but if you wanted to take it a step further and go into the winter, you could probably add like a turtleneck under the dress um, or some type of long sleeve uh, shirt under the dress. And depending on where you are, your winters may be really cold. So if you're in New York, you're going to need like a longer, maybe pea coat, heavier pea coat in the winter. But if you're here in the South, um, you know, just a regular short peacoat. Or even like just a turtleneck. This look 
and you should be fine because it doesn't get that cold down here in winter so um yeah so this is the first look this is one of the first looks i would wear to style this dress and for an accessory i love crossbodies um i love crossbody purses and i would probably do something like this like a crossbody um burgundy uh, purse. Let me see. So this is probably like a look I will go with for the fall, like going out. Um, I work from home, so I don't work in the office, but uh, yeah, if I was going out with friends or, you know, probably some type of, I don't know, conference or whatever, I would actually I actually wear this like I actually love this so so this is our first look um, styling an animal print dress and it doesn't have to be leopard print like it can be literally like I don't know any print that you have um, you know it could have this could have been like a tiger print and snake skin like and vice versa like it could be anything that you want to do all right so this is our first look with the burgundy uh, purse, crossbody purse. Um, and you could probably like use a clutch or something like that. All right, so let's go into look number two. All right, for the second look, I added a long sweater. Um, I've seen women like wear the sweater like this where it's long and you can just see like a little bit of the bottom of the dress. For me, it's a little too valley girl for me. Like, <laughs> I need a little bit more. Um, but I've seen it, and it looks really good on some people. Um, and sometimes they will add a belt, um, which, which I would do. Like, I would definitely add a belt to create some type of waistline because I have a very, like, boxy um, torso. So I have to create a waist for myself. Um, so yeah, so I would just put it at waist level here, right? And then like some people would just wear it like this. Um, this isn't terrible, it's not terrible. Um, and again, I would wear um, either some light boots or I would bring back like this um, snake skin boots, the animal skin boots. Either one is fine, but because I've already used these boots, and another style, I'm just gonna go ahead with the basic black. And um, I wanna show you like a little trick with the build. All right, so this is the look with the black boots. Um, like I said, it's not terrible. I switched out the black leggings um, with some gray ones. And like I said, it's not terrible. It's just not my style. Like I don't think I will wear it like this, but I do. I do like uh, the sweaters to be like a little shorter, right? So it's not going to stay like this, but one trick is um, you could maybe get like a safety pin or maybe just tack like here and like around to get it a little shorter. Or you could, because this is long, take it, like how I would do it, I would take it and like tuck it all the way up and put it under the belt. And I would do that all the way around. Let's see if I can get it. I'm trying to do that. I would just tuck it under the belt all the way around. Um, I think I got a new belt. And it's short, so it creates like almost like a peplum look. And you will have that all the way around. Let's see, so this. And so like you can see here in the back. Yeah, so like here you can see it creates like this peplum look all the way around. Just make sure you got it even, like I'm doing it pretty fast, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so again, like I said, this dress has pockets. And this is how I will wear it, just to make it look like a little bit more modern. Like I feel like when it's like long, the sweater is long, it looks a little dated. Like it looks a little, little house on the prairie-ish. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I will wear it like this. Um, I'll be honest with you, I will also wear like snake skin boots. I think I will still put the snake skin boots with this because this sweater is um, a navy and you know, the stockings are solid, so you know, you still will have like those two prints and everything would be fine. But for something that's a little bit more, I guess, um, casual, and again, if you're not like going to someplace so fancy or whatever, um, you could just use the black boots. Yeah, so um, this sweater I actually got from, again, Goodwill where um, you can go to their clearance stores and um, buy the clothes by the pound. So I actually got the sweater here. Got it washed up and dry cleaned and uh, yeah, it's like new. It's like new, like there's nothing in it, there's no spots. Um, so I believe in thrifting as well as having nice things. Uh, so yeah, and again, you can do this with any, any um, animal print that you have. I am curious to see how it looks with the animal print boots. I am curious, so I am gonna try that on. But first, um, for a accessory, I love this purse. This is my BB, um, you can use it as a clutch, but it's, it's a crossbody um, purse as well. But I would definitely use this to add a pop of color um, to this outfit. And it's like lime green. So I would definitely, definitely like wear this with it. Um, and I will wear it as a clutch and I will wear it as a crossbody. Right, so and also this is a really good fall look. And if you wanna take it into winter, then I would add a pea coat to it, like a long pea coat. I love pea coats, like I love pea coats. <laughs> so I will wear like a long pea coat with it. And um, yeah, now you can take it to like, from fall to winter. And again, this is a dress with no sleeves in it. Like it has absolutely no sleeves in it at all. And you can take this dress from like spring, summer, fall, winter, like just to get the most out of your clothes. I really believe in getting the most out of your clothes. So yeah, this is the look I will go with. Um, I want to try the snakes in boots. I like this. I like this. So like, yeah, I would definitely wear the snake skin boots with these. Um, yeah, because like I said, you still have two solids to kind of tone everything down. I would still keep my um, lime green clutch and yeah, actually, I think I would just wear it as a, you know, use it as a clutch. Um, so yeah, so here is the second look. You can put on the black boots or the snake skin boots. Um, and adding a sweater over the dress to make it, you know, um, a good fall look. And yeah, that's it. All right. So yeah, so this is the styling of, um, this is our Yuna leopard dress. It's in the shop right now. Um, but this is how I was styled for fall because I love um, designing things that can take you through various seasons, various like occasions from day to night so that you can get the most out of your clothes. I think that everyone should be able to get the most out of their clothes, especially if you pay um, a good amount of money for it. Like you should be able to use it and wear it to different places um, and throughout different seasons. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, you guys take care.